is quote unquote solving the measurement problem particularly relevant to quantum field theory or the standard model of particle physics as it is empirically used or, or empirically confirmed or something like quantum gravity because i mean as I said, Lawrence Krauss seems to think that no one cares about this but philosophers and for good reason. And I talked to Eric Verlinde about string theory, and he seemed to echo this. He just wasn't at all interested in the interpretations. But then other people working on quantum um, gravity, like Faye Dowker, says that the, the path integral is quite vital to the program of causal set theory. Yeah, you know, I think that um, our mutual friend, Dan Dennett, who passed away recently, uh, has said things along the same lines as what I'm about to say, which is that you can't help but do philosophy when you're doing science. You can only do it well or do it badly, right? There's plenty of physicists who ignore philosophy, but they're constantly making philosophical pronouncements. They're just kind of silly ones. They're not very educated ones, not very thoughtful ones. Again, that's fine for a lot of areas of physics. For quantum field theory, when you want to predict the electric dipole moment of the muon or something like that, why in the world do you need to think about philosophy to do that? But on the other hand, quantum gravity, emergent space-time, things like that, these are precisely areas where philosophy might be super-duper important. Cosmology overall, with things like the anthropic principle. The anthropic principle, as deployed by many physicists, is exactly an example of philosophy done badly, because they haven't really thought these issues through. So I think it just depends on what you're interested in. You know, if you're a physicist who doesn't like philosophy, and you stay away from those questions and areas where philosophy is important, I think you can be fine. <laughs>